What's up guys? It's Dr. Jim. I'm coming to you. I'm your CBD expert, your natural health care expert here in Richmond, Virginia. Um, welcome to the live tonight. We've got an awesome topic, an awesome subject. I'm excited to share it with everybody. So when you're getting on tonight, if you wouldn't mind, hey Nicole, thanks for getting on. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to put in your name and if you're watching it live or on the replay, because we know when well, I love to see who's on, and not only that, I love to know if you're getting the real energy when I'm bringing it to you live, or are you seeing it on the replay? Either way, thanks for getting on tonight. It's good. It's going to be a great. It's going to be a great uh, talk, a great topic. Um, thanks, Aaron, for getting on. Um, it's going to be awesome tonight. Because what we're going to talk about tonight. So as uh, as most of us have probably experienced, as people start taking CBD oil, invariably a few people will uh, say, well, you know what? I'm not sure that the CBD oil's doing anything for me, okay? And that brought me to tonight's topic because I've had a few people mention something like that to me. And the, the idea for tonight's topic is, you know, the top three things that you might be doing wrong in taking your CBD oil, all right? Because there's a couple things that could be going wrong, why you may not be experiencing the results that you hope to be getting in taking CBD oil. All right. So as I said, I'm Dr. Jim. I'm your CBD expert, your natural health care expert. I'm a chiropractor of nearly 20 years here in Richmond, Virginia. Um, was rated the number one chiropractor in 2017. I'm up for it again this year. Fingers crossed we win this one. Um, but a little disclaimer, a little housekeeping before we get started. Number one, um, I am not your doctor tonight. You are not my patient tonight. There is nothing about this video that constitutes a doctor-patient relationship. So um, with that uh, in mind, um, just everything that you hear on this video, just make sure that you don't just stop taking any, med any medications or doing any major medical shift because of you heard something cool on my, uh, on my video. And number two, we don't claim to cure or treat any specific diseases with CBD oil. That's very, very important. Um, think of this as a, you know, CBD oil we use as a natural healthcare supplement that has some really amazing uh, major changes. So the big topic tonight is what are the top three things you might be doing wrong um, in taking CBD oil? Well, let's start with why do people... Why are most people taking it? Well, people are taking it. I've done a lot of videos on these. You can go back through my um, Dr. Jim CBD Facebook page. You can go to my YouTube page, um, Dr. Jim Holland, and you can just watch video after video of the reasons why people are taking CBD oil. Things like inflammation, pain, anxiety, sleep problems, diabetes, autoimmune conditions, cancer. There's just so many of them that um, people are taking it for a whole bunch of reasons. And what happens is sometimes people start taking because they have a specific symptom that they want to go away. And then at the end, they go, well, I don't know, but I'm not sure that that CBD will help because it didn't make X happen. So what could you be doing wrong or what might be going wrong with you taking CBD oil? Well, let's start with number one, all right? And this is going to make a lot of people out there that are watching right now really excited, but you may be taking the wrong CBD oil, all right? It may not be like the kind I recommend of the highest quality. Um, you know, I recommend a brand that's incredibly pure. It's, it's nice and strong. It's farmed right here in Kentucky. Well, in the United States, in Kentucky, right, Mom? Um, we love Kentucky. Um, it's... It's pure, it's CO2 extracted, so there's no harsh solvents in it. And what happens is some people are buying CBD oil and they really don't know what they're getting. It, it is really like the wild, wild west out there right now when it comes to CBD oil. I mean, there is, there's not a lot of regulation and there's a bunch of just junk flooding the market and you don't know if you are getting a good oil. Now, I have done research and I know that the oil I recommend is very high quality. It's third party tested. So you know there's no molds or any of that other junk. These people are raising stuff on a farm and they're, you don't know what you're getting. Okay. Um, and, you know, things people are buying in vape shops. You don't, you don't, they're, 
you don't know how they're there's no regulation on how their um, what their labels say so you just don't know what you're getting and so the truth is you may think you've been taking CBD oil and you're wondering well why hasn't it worked out the way I expected it to and you just may be taking a an oil or a CBD product that's inferior that's just not really that good okay I can guarantee you that the product that I recommend is very very good all right so when we get to the end of this video if the person who shared it with you or if you don't have anybody who's shared it with you you message me and I will I will recommend exactly what what I would recommend and you can and you can get it from me okay now number two as it's kind of a continuation of the wrong oil it's not really number two it's like one B which is it may be the delivery system so I recommend an oil that you take sublingually, which means underneath your tongue. And that is so that when you hold it for a, a minute or two underneath your tongue, the capillaries, the small blood vessels underneath your tongue, absorb the CBD directly into your bloodstream. All right? It's a fantastic way to get CBD into your body. Now, a lot of people are, I know I don't, I don't, I don't so really, I'm not really into vaping. Um, it doesn't support sort of the, I don't like smoking of any kind really, so it doesn't really support the natural health direction that I try to take my patients. But even um, like if you're taking any edibles, gummies, um, capsules, all of those, they have to go through your digestive tract before the CBD makes it into your bloodstream. It goes through the first pass through your liver. And what that means is I have absolutely no idea how much CBD or CBD you're actually getting to into your bloodstream because dep depending on how crummy your digestion is or how junked up your liver is we don't really know how much what so they might say oh I take 25 milligram capsules great I have no idea how much you're actually getting so I really recommend a specific oil that's taken sublingually and that may be part of the reason if you're not taking uh, what I recommend and how I recommend it. Okay, just remember that when you put that CBD oil underneath your tongue, you gotta hold it there for like two minutes. Let that absorb. Just don't put it under there and swallow it, because now you've just made it an edible. All right. So put it in there, hold it, and let it absorb into your bloodstream. All right. So that is number one thing you may be doing wrong with CBD oil if you're not getting the results that you're hoping to. So you may be taking a crummy oil, and you may not be. You may not be taking it in a way that I think is best to get it into your bloodstream. All right. Number two is you could be taking too little. All right. So this is a, something I've seen more and more as my my dosing video that I did before as we talked about um, that the old Beastie Boy song um, slow and low that is the tempo. That's how we want to start with our our. CBD oil. So we usually, I usually recommend people start off like three to five drops underneath their tongue morning and night and then increase it a couple drops every few days until you hit your sweet spot. Well, because we start off so low with so many people, I have people get to like eight drops and they think eight in the morning, eight at night, and they think they're taking like, well, it's not working. I mean, I'm at eight whole drops morning and night and what I want you to understand is even at 10 in the morning, 10 at night, that is a total of 10 milligrams of CBD if you're taking the 500, all right? It's 15 milligrams if you're taking the 750. Well, guess what? If you look at dosing out there in the world of the studies they've done, um, like chronic pain can, can be up to 25 or 30 milligrams of CBD oil. Well, if you're only taking 10, guess what? it may not be having the de desired effect yet. You may be taking too little. You may have stopped before you got to the level you wanted. One of the reasons that happens is people start taking it and let's say you have arthritis pain and I don't sleep very well. So you start taking it and the very first thing that starts to happen is your sleep starts to get better. And you're like, yes, my sleep is getting better but my arthritis still hurts. Well, guess what? You're probably taking the right amount for sleep right now, but you haven't reached the dose to affect your arthritis. Now the problem is, is people then stop and they don't keep going. So you keep increasing until you hit a ceiling where you start to, where you have a possible negative, like 
ooh, I didn't like how that made me feel. It either worsened my symptoms or it gave me a headache or it did something. That means you kind of hit your ceiling, you back off a little bit and you hang out there for a little while. Now, if it still hasn't taken care of your symptom, try to increase again, okay? So you may be taking too little, really important. People are stopping way short of you know, realizing that because on our bottle it says a serving is 10, you know, 20 drops. Well, some people need 20 drops in the morning and 20 at night or more. So just realize that there, it doesn't mean you have to take so much. It's just that's how it works. So you may have to increase your dose even higher. The second part of that is you may be taking too much. All right. I just had someone reach out to me last week and they were having amazing success with their anxiety and their depression. Amazing. Like you can't even believe the success they were having. And then all of a sudden it seemed to not work anymore. And they were really concerned like, do, but do I need to take more? Do I need to take more? And what I, I recommended they do, because they were already taking a good bit, I said, why don't you back it down about half? They went to half and they started to see all the positive effects again. Because this is something that, this is like nothing else that is out there, okay? Most medications, and this is not a medication, it is a supplement, all right? But most medications um, or drugs, the more and more you take of it, the more and more your body needs. Guess what? CBD oil doesn't work that way. This is what's so cool about it. Let's say it took originally 10 drops in the morning and 10 at night for you to have the right event or the, the right expression, the right feeling. Well, guess what then? The longer you take that 10 and 10, if you start to have a feeling where you, like, man, it used to work and now it doesn't feel like it's working, guess what? Your endocannabinoid system has gotten more in balance. Your, your endocannabinoid system needs less CBD oil, most likely. You can actually start to bring it down a little bit because this is what's unique. More, you, you don't necessarily need more, all right? And that's what's really, really cool. It's unlike anything else that's out there is because since it helps bring balance to the body, once the body starts to get more in balance, you may actually need less of it, not more. It's one of the unique things about CBD oil is your body does not develop a tolerance to it like it does other drugs and other medications, which I think is just really ridiculously cool. All right. So number one thing you may be doing wrong is you may be taking a crummy oil. Let's be honest. All right. So message me or the person who sent you this video if you want to know what I recommend and, and the best way to take it sublingually. Number two is you could be taking too little. All right. Keep going until you get what you want. Or you could be taking too much. Meaning if you at one point had your sweet spot and everything was going great and then it started to like, wait, maybe this isn't going in the right direction, then back it down. Bring it back down until you, you feel good again and then you know you're in the right spot. All right? So that's two really important ones. And third, okay? And this might touch a nerve with a few people, but I'm a natural healthcare doctor. And one of the problems that I see going on, not just, I mean, in the world, but even in the CBD oil community is we are treating CBD oil like a drug, okay? We are taking the same failed health model and we're just using something different, all right? So the idea being is that um, you're, we're, we're trying to treat a symptom with, a, with a something specific, all right? Like here. I have this pain, I'm gonna take CBD oil. If that pain doesn't go away, then CBD oil stinks, it doesn't work. Well, my question to you is, is do you take a multivitamin because it makes you, like all of a sudden it changes how your whole body feels and you feel amazing? Or do you take a multivitamin because you know it has the nutrition and positive benefits in there that are gonna benefit you over your lifetime? I suspect that's why you take it. Um, do you take vitamin C? because you feel it cl clearing out free radicals in your bloodstream? Do, do, do you feel vitamin C helping your body make collagen so that your, your, your ligaments and your tissues can be healthy? That you can have you know, good cell membranes? No, you don't feel that. The truth is, is that the top two killers in the United States are heart disease and cancer. And the truth is, is that the the very first sign or symptom that we ever have either one of those problems is that we have full-blown heart disease or cancer, okay? 
So my question is, if we know that CBD oil has an anti-inflammatory effect, that it is neuroprotective, that it's antioxidant, that it helps bring homeostasis to the body, why would we just focus simply on, man, it made this pain or that pain go away or it didn't? But what I really want us to focus on is, listen, it's just good for you. Take it because it's good for you. The way you would a multivitamin or the way you would take vitamin C is these are, that's why you take it. That's why I take it. Because if you continue to focus on things from a disease perspective, just treating disease, if you pl apply disease treatment to the world, you, you, you end up with a disease society. So what we want to do is we want to focus on all things for health. All right, And I know that CBD oil has tons of health benefits. It's throughout the research. I'm not making it up. It's not my personal opinion. All right, But because of it, I don't want us to say, well, like think about this. Think if you were taking CBD oil because you heard it has anti, oh, low battery, watch out. We're going to have to make this quick. Um, you quit taking CBD oil. Hold on. Let's see if I can get my, there we go. Let, you you were taking CBD oil because you would like to use it for its anti-cancer effects. Now, once again, we don't treat cancer. We don't do any of that. I'm, I'm not saying we do, but I'm saying, let's say that's the reason you want to take it. Do you stop taking it because you don't feel the anti-cancer effects? Do you get where I'm going with this? So, the three things that you might be doing wrong with CBD oil. Number one is that you might be taking a crummy oil. Number two is your dosage could be really off. You could be taking not enough. You could be taking too much. And the third is, is that you're really trying to treat CBD oil like a drug and you're looking for it to make a very specific symptom go away. And if that symptom doesn't go away, you're disregarding all of the health benefits of CBD oil, which I would recommend you don't. All right. Now, last one. This is a bonus because I'm feeling wild tonight. It's a bonus, but this is number four. I told you only three, but I got four, all right? Bonus is that your lifestyle is completely counter to all the positive benefits that you could get from CBD oil, right? I mean, how many people are out there, you're, you eat tons of gluten and tons of grains and tons of junk and maybe too much sugar and you drink too much and you smoke too much and you don't sleep and you have a stressful lifestyle and you're on tons of prescription medications, not that you should stop taking them or not that you had anything to do with that. I'm not against you on that one, all right? But your lifestyle is completely counter to all things health. And then we expect CBD oil is gonna sweep in, you know, swoop in and just make it all go away. Well, guess what? That's an unrealistic expectation. Now, if you really want the solution there, this is what you do. Make CBD oil a part of a dramatic shift in your health, all right? That's what it can be used for. You're gonna start taking it, and now, you, and if you want, you can get with me. I make, I help people with diet, exercise, changing their lifestyle around. I mean, it's, it's a huge part of what I do across the country. I do it virtually as a coach. So reach out to me if you want help with that. But what you can do is literally make CBD oil a part of this transition where you decide, you know what? I'm going to start eating better. I'm going to start eating less sugar. I'm going to start eating less grains. I'm going to start eating more vegetables. I'm going to I'm going to start moving my butt a little bit, all right? I'm going to go through all that and I'm going to start taking the CBD oil and all these things together are going to work for my good. Right? That sounds awesome. So, number one thing you may be doing right, you wrong, you may be taking the wrong CBD oil. Get with me, get with whoever referred this video to you. Um, we'll help you take what's right. Number 2, you could be taking the wrong dose, too much, too little, all right? Or you're not taking sublingual, you're taking like an edible. Maybe you're not keeping the CBD oil underneath your tongue long enough so that it absorbs, all right? It's a big deal. Number three, um, realize that CBD oil isn't just to treat a symptom, and if you're taking it just to hope to make a symptom go away, that you're missing out on a huge part of the value of CBD oil. And bonus, number four, let's get our lifestyles right, all right? Reach out to me if you want help with that but make CBD oil a huge shift in that piece because CBD oil isn't just going to fight against every wrong thing we do in our health, okay? So, a couple things real quick. 
I'm on a mission. We're going to change a lot of lives because of the information. Please share this everywhere. Like it. It keeps the life of it going on out in the world. And, you know, people are seeing these a thousand and thousands and thousands of views all over the country, all around the world. Thank you, Australia. Um, you, Perth is like in the house like every day on these videos. So thanks for coming out. Um, but also, so share it, like it. I want some people on my team, people that I can help also share this around the world. So I want one, I don't want everybody, all right? I want people that are serious and I want one person from every state and I want one person from every country around the world to get on my team and help me share this CBD or what I recommend around the country. Number two, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Dr. Jim Holland. Just look it up. Yeah, Australia, what up? <laughs> so go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to it. It's going to be awesome. We're, I'm going to be making some kind of sneaky special announcements just on my YouTube channel. So I want people to go there and sign up for that as well. And then, um, like I said, I'm a, I'm a virtual health coach around the country. So if you, um, bonus number four, you want to change your lifestyle, you get in contact with me. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you make those changes. We're going to change your life forever. It's going to be awesome. All right. Thank you, Susan. Um, and then last, just like I say to my son every day before he goes to school, be your very best today. Hashtag never quit. And if no one's ever told you this, I believe that God wants the very, very best for you. And the day you realize that, it's going to change your life forever. God bless.